All right, so Joey is back with the Rainmen. Uh, we last saw him in 2012-2013. He also played the 2011-2012 season. Joey, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing the past couple of years. Uh, actually, uh, after the season last couple uh, few years ago, I went to uh, Denmark and I played there for about a, about a year. Had a really good season, leading score in the league, um, all-star and MVP. And uh, then after that, I played in Iceland for, for about, about a month. It wasn't a good situation for me, so I decided to come back uh, to play for the Rainmen. Uh, one of the reasons why I came back uh, is because of uh, Pep. You know, one of the reasons why, because uh, he's a good coach. Uh, we made it to the finals, uh, win first. Uh, doesn't take any crap from anyone, you know. So, uh, and you know, he w works as hard and stuff like that. So I know he's the w one of the only coaches could get us to the, to the finals and win a championship. And also, I want to be close to my family. You know, I got a two month, uh, three month old son, and uh, I got my four, four year old and my wife. So uh, I think it was uh, it was a good decision for me and financially to be back here. So the last time Pep was the coach of the Rainmen, and you, of course, were on the team, and you guys made a championship run, lost in a devastating fifth game to the London Lightning. Mm -hmm. Do you think this year's team has what it takes to make it back to that point? I think so. Uh, I think we're t really talented. Um, the first year I played for the Rainmen with Pep, uh, Tully Brown, all those guys, uh, man, we had, we were so talented, like so deep, guards, forward centers we were just we we're kind of unstoppable really um but we just like you said uh, we just you know kind of didn't make it all the way you know didn't get a championship but I think this team we got a lot of talent you know what I mean and uh kind of the same as uh, my first year um but I think we're we're everybody's cool with each other so at the same time we got that team we're getting that team spirit and that's going to take us a long way and I think we could we can win the championship but it's really all up to us because coach really knows how to win it he knows how to win he won championships before but at the end of the day, we're playing out there. He's not. He's on the sideline telling us what to do, but we got to go out there and execute. So I think once we, we execute and buy in, buy in more what he says, we'll win. And how about you personally? Uh, you had a lot of success in this league, two-time Canadian Player of the Year, mm -hmm. all-star both years, all-defensive team. Yeah. What are some personal goals you might have for this season? Personal goals is to get that championship. You know, I already got uh, Canadian Player of the Year two times in a row um, and all-star. Which is great, but I think for me at this age, and I just, I just turned 30, I think it's re more, really more important to get a championship. It would be great if I do get, you know, Canadian Player of the Year again, um, but you know what I mean. But it's not really my concern right, right at this moment. And of course, you are Canadian. Talk about this league, its importance in Canadian basketball, and how the game is really growing here in Canada. Oh, it's crazy. Now we got, man, we got uh, first round draft picks, like first picks, Andrew Wiggins, Anthony Bennett. So. You know, it's, it's bringing a lot of attention to uh, 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 the media um, and no NBA now. So we're now we're not getting looked over, you know. So, you know, so there and for, for them being in the league now, you know, gives us an opportunity to you know to uh, to shine and try to make, make it to the NBA, go play overseas. So I see a lot more players are playing overseas now because of that. A lot more coaches are giving us a lot more opportunity and a chance, so which is great. And finally, you're a product of the AUS, St. Mary's University, all-time leading scorer in St. Mary's history. Mm -hmm. Have you been back to watch any St. Mary's games since you've been back in Halifax? Uh, not really. Um, probably the new year. I've just been busy. Uh, coaches, coaches really working hard. hard. Sometimes we get two a days and stuff. So when I get home, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I just need a rest and stuff like that. Sometimes I put out some extra shots and stuff. So um, I'm kind of just focused on right now to try to get how to get a championship right now. How do I get my team uh, 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 to buy in and stuff like that. And uh, I, I'm going to check it out in the new year for sure. You know? But right now, I want to get that championship.